is going on ladies and gents? My name's Evolution and I'm stuck behind this silly bus. Oh, we're never going to get through that. Ah, it doesn't matter too much, we'll get in front of it at the lights, I think. We better bloody do. Oh, there's no space. Look at it. Do we do it? Do we do it? The past two days, it has literally taken me about 45 minutes to get to work. When it usually would only take me maybe 10, 15 minutes tops. I thought, I'll bring the bike out. We can do filtering. You know, we're not going to get stuck behind any cars. And well, now all the cars have just gone. So I'm not going to complain. You know, it makes my life easier. Although I was quite excited this morning for a bit of filtering, car dodging, whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a fun game. You guys should try it. But wait, seriously, don't filter unless you, you know, you've got the confidence to do so. You've got quite a sturdy balance. Yes, I'm front of the bus. But anyway, today's video is actually focused on you 50cc riders out there. I presume that most of you have just turned 16 and you're really ambitious to get on a bike. You know, you've seen a nice 50cc geared sports bike, supermoto and you just want to get on the road, get your freedom. Others of you may have ridden a scooter beforehand and you've decided, you know what, I want to step my game up and learn some gears, which fair play to you all. So glad I'm not sitting in this traffic this morning. So for those who don't know, there's actually a law in place. I'm presuming this is just in the UK. And it actually applied to me when I first started riding my bike at 16, the Aprilia RS50 geared sports bike. But the law is, Long story short is, if you own a 50cc, despite of what it's capable of doing, that you should not exceed a speed limit of, I think it's between 28 miles per hour and 32 miles per hour. So if you've just passed your CBT at 16, you've got a 50cc scooter, 50cc geared motorbike. In theory, you're not supposed to exceed that speed limit. And despite the bike might be able to perform faster than this, you know, maybe it's de-restricted. Therefore, we all know a good tune de-restricted Aprilia RS50 can reach anywhere between 50 and sort of potentially 60, 65 miles per hour. Law states that nah, you shouldn't be riding that bike despite being a 50, you're, you're not, not to go any quicker than, than this speed limit. My bike was de-restricted, it could happily do 50, 55 and I was riding 40 mile per hour roads on a daily basis. Now if I'm hanging around at just under 30 miles per hour, the drivers behind me have all the intention to overtake me because I'm going 10 miles per hour slower than the speed limit. And to be honest, I think it's just dangerous. It's so silly, it's, it's ridiculous. So what about if you're taking your 50cc bike at 16 on a 50 miles per hour road? What then are you only supposed to do 30 as well? So now you're all doing almost half the speed limit. Now you're causing even more of a hazard. So to put this video into a long story short, I don't get the question very often about 50cc scooters. And to be honest, I'm not too sure on the modifications you can do to them. But a lot of you guys are 16 riding a 50cc geared, a geared sports bike or supermoto. And you come to me asking, should I de-restrict my bike? Because essentially I'm going to have twice as much as power near enough. But, you know, the law says otherwise, it shouldn't be de-restricted. I say hell yeah, go for it guys. And the reason I say this, and key number fact one, is all about your safety. I can assure you, if you can match the speed limit of the 50 mile per hour road, or a 40 mile per hour road, as opposed to doing the law that we just mentioned about, you'll be much safer. Also, the way the bike will perform de-restricted is much better than stock. The bike will feel so much smoother. You won't feel like you're having to, and I, I hate to use this word, but rag it everywhere. You know, the bike will generally just achieve speeds that a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. And, you know, a restricted Aprilia RS50, for instance, should only output about 30 miles per hour, top, top end. You de-restrict that, mine did 55, my one before that did 50. I've heard reports of getting 60 and 70 out of them. Also, say perhaps you're involved almost in an accident, a car's coming towards you, you need to swerve out the way quickly. You have got that extra little power just to pull that throttle and get out of that incident. If you're able just to quickly get out of there, then you've just saved yourself from having a small accident, a big accident, whatever the case may be. But if you're restricted, and I'm not saying like restricted bikes are bad, you know, you can ride them for as long as you want. I would ride one, yeah, no worries. But as I said, it's all about safety. Having that extra bit of power is great and very useful. Just be sensible. Don't, don't do 50 in a 30. That's just silly. 
Anyway, that's my thought on the whole subject. As I said, this is just my opinion and I'm not necessarily recommending it, but um, it's what I've done on both my two Aprilias and as I've mentioned, it made all the difference. So if you guys got any questions or queries before, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one.